video, we are going to be covering a simple trick for loading PET liner labels onto your print and apply applicator. We are using a tamp applicator, so if you're using a wipe on or an air blow applicator, your process might be a little different. If your machine uses air, make sure you turn off the connected air. Then you'll want to pause your printer so it isn't running. Remove anything from keeping your roll of labels in place, like a roll stopper or a lock bar. Next, unroll the labels so you have some slack. Then cut off a label from the strand. You can then remove the roll of labels on your machine and replace it with your roll of PET liner labels. Take the liner off the label you just cut off. With that label, you're going to use it to splice together the labels still on the machine and the new roll of PET labels. This is a super easy and simple trick that saves you time from having to completely unload and reload your labels. Once you've spliced together those labels, secure your roll with any roll stoppers or lock bars on your machine. Then open your printer and release any latches keeping your labels in place. If there are any extra labels still on your tamp pad or applicator, make sure you remove them. It might work a little differently on your machine, but with this applicator, you'll have to start winding the release liner spindle. As you're winding, labels are going to be coming off your machine, so make sure you grab them. Keep winding until the splice label runs through your machine. Once the splice label goes through, wind until just one label comes off. Then secure any latches in your printer, and if you're using a ribbon, make sure that spindle is tight. Once you've done all this, shut your printer. You can then unpause your printer and applicator. If your applicator is using air, you can turn the air back on. You should now be ready to print with your PET liner labels. Need PET liner labels? Visit smithcorona.com or give us a call at 1-800-875-7000.